Hello guys and welcome back to another video on this channel and in this video I'm going to tell you how what Joe Biden said on his State of Union is going to affect your portfolio in 2022. So I was actually excited to see this speech but after I watched it I must be honest I've had a lot of trouble making this video because the whole speech feels like it was a whole nothing burger. It feels like somebody took uh, somebody was like, oh my God, oh my God, we need a speech. Okay, is there something that we can reuse? All right, here, here we have a campaign speech from uh, just before the election. Okay, we add some little Russia, Russia here and a little inflation there. And there you go, out the door. Now you can have the speech. I watched the whole one hour um, with my team, so you don't have to. And um, there is a few points that I, that I want to mention from the speech. For example, uh, he... Some of the things that he didn't say are actually more important than the things that he said. Talked about inflation, right? And uh, he didn't really come with a, a, a specific plan. He said he's going to fight inflation. One thing that he said was specific is that they're going to release 60 million barrels with many different countries from um, different oil reserves on the planet. And I'm taking robust action to make sure the pain of our sanctions is targeted at Russian economy and that we use every tool at our disposal to protect American businesses and consumers. Tonight, I can announce the United States has worked with 30 other countries to release 60 million barrels of oil from reserves around the world. America will lead that effort. Releasing 30 million barrels of our own strategic petroleum reserve. And we stand ready to do more if necessary. And this sounds good, but then you look at, okay, the U.S. is using about 20 million barrels of oil a day. So it's basically three days of oil supply. And uh, it's not a lot. I mean, last time they used the oil supply to curb the oil prices. I think the prices in the U.S. went down by four cents, maybe 10 cents. I don't know. Don't don't quote me on this. But it was. we can agree that the prices are higher than ever, right? And... Then again, what he didn't speak about was that they have sanctions on Russia, but they are still buying oil from Russia. Uh, the problem with the sanctions on the banks and on the Russian central bank is the general license that allows for energy transactions to go forward. This is not preventing Putin from continuing to export oil and natural gas and finance his uh, war machine against the innocent Ukrainian people. Uh, because the U.S. is not producing its own oil and they could produce their own oil and then Putin would, lo would lose a lot of leverage, right? Um, so basically the U.S. is sort of indirect funding the Ukraine-Russian conflict because as long as they keep buying, even though you have all these um, sanctions, uh, Putin will have his war chest getting more and more money and he can just continue the fight. He said one more thing, which was that you should uh, <laughs> don't cut wages, cut costs. One way to fight inflation is to drive down wages and make Americans poorer. I think I have a better idea to fight inflation. Lower your costs, not your wages. That means make more cars and semiconductors in America, more infrastructure and innovation in America, more goods moving faster and cheaper in America. More jobs where you can earn a good living in America. Instead of relying on foreign supply chains, let's make it in America. And it's a very easy thing to say. I, I'm a company owner myself. And let me tell you, one of the hardest things on the planet is cutting wages. So, of course, you turn every little stone that you can and cut every little coast that you can uh, before you start cutting wages. So, duh, it was like... A complete nothing burger like uh, it's a very smart sounding to, uh, thing to say but I don't know what to do with that information and then another thing so he talked about how much uh, that you know uh, uh, another way to fight inflation is to you know bring back production from uh, overseas and and have make everything in in America so you don't have to deal with supply chain issues um, and yeah, it's it's a good thing, right? But usually it costs more to make things in America. So, I mean, that is, I'm not sure that that is helping inflation. And he talked about a lot of EV investments. And again, he didn't mention Tesla, which is uh, kind of funny at this point. Ford is investing $11 billion in electric vehicles, creating 11,000 jobs across the country. GM is making the largest investment in its history, $7 billion to build electric vehicles, creating 4,000 jobs in Michigan. All told, 
369,000 new manufacturing jobs were created in America last year alone. He talked about how Ford and GM are investing billions into U.S. productions, and uh, he didn't talk about Tesla, who has like tens of thousands of employees in the U.S. and invested billions in the in the past year. So I, I think that is becoming comical at this point. Um, but yeah, this was the whole State of Union on a, uh, address. It's uh, Honestly, it was a whole nothing burger, and I don't think it will have any effect on your portfolio. So in that way, it's quite good, and you definitely don't have to spend the time to, to watch the speech. I will see you guys in another video.